what is the meaning of life? Our existence here on earth, mm -hmm. the whole thing. Do you have... <laughs> uh, no, no, you can't, you can't. I will not allow you to, uh, to try to escape answering this question. Trivia. You have to answer definitively mm -hmm. uh, because there, there surely, surely, Don Knuth, there must be an what, answer. What is the answer? Is it 42 or whatever? Yeah, no. well, I don't think it's in numerical. That's, that's okay. the, the SDS. That, that, was, that was in, in Zen and, okay, but all right. So, so, so anyway, um, it, it's only for me, and but I, but I personally think of my belief that that God exists, although I have no idea what that means. But I believe that there is uh, some something beyond human uh, capabilities, um, and it might be. Uh, uh, it might be some AI, uh, but, but, <laughs> but 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 whatever it is, but but, but whatever I, I but I do believe that that there is uh, something that goes beyond the realm of human understanding, but but that I, that I can try to learn more about how to resonate with whatever that being would like me to do. So you think you can have occasional glimpses of that being? I, I I strive for that. Not that I ever think I'm going to get close to it, but but it's not it's not for me. It's it's saying what should I do that that being wants me to do. That's that's you know I I I'm trying to ask what what that. I mean, does that being want me to to be talking to Lex Friedman right yeah. now? You know, and I said yes. Okay, yeah. but thank you. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> but but, but, but so, what, yeah. what I'm trying to say is, I, I'm not trying to say what, what of all the strategies I could choose or something. Which one? To, <laughs> I, I I try to do it not not strategically, but, but I I try to to. to Imagine that I'm following somebody's wishes, even though you're not smart enough to to know what they are. Yeah, but, but, but it's I, the but, funny little dance. Well, I, I, I mean, this AI or whatever is it, it probably is, it, is is smart enough to help to give me clues. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, and uh, to make the whole journey from clue to clue uh, yeah. a fun one. Yeah, I mean, it's it's as so many people have said, it's the journey, not the destination. So, and people live live through crises, help each other. All these th th things come up. Uh, history repeats itself. Uh, you, you try to say in the world today, is, is there any government that's working? I, I I read history. I I know that things were. <laughs> they 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 were they were. There were a lot worse in many ways. There's a lot of bad things all the time, <laughs> and, and I read about uh, you know I, I look at at things and people had good ideas and they were working on great projects and then I know that it that it didn't succeed though in the end. Uh, but it, but the new insight I've gotten in actually in that way was I, I was reading uh, what what book was I reading uh, recently? It was. It was by Ken Follett, and it was called "The Man from Saint Petersburg," mm -hmm. but it, but it, but it was talking about the prequel to World War One, and, and Winston Churchill, according to this book, uh, sees that that Germany has been spending all its gold reserves uh, building up a huge military, mm -hmm. and there's no question that if, if Germany would attack England, that England would be wiped out. Mm -hmm. um, so he wants Russia to help uh, to attack Germany from the other side because Germany doesn't have enough of an army to, <laughs> to, to be fighting two wars at one. Mm -hmm. Okay, now th then there's an a anarchist in Russia who sees that it, it, uh, wars are uh, something that leaders start, but actually people get killed. Mm -hmm. And so he wants to stop 
any alliance between England and Russia, because that would mean that uh, thousands and thousands of people of Russia would, would, would be killed that wouldn't be otherwise killed. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. And so his, his life's goal is to assassinate a, a Russian prince who's visiting England, because that will, make, will mean the Tsar will not form the alliance, all right? Mm -hmm. So we have this question about what should the government do? Should, should it actually do something that will lead to, you know, is, war, is the war inevitable or is there a way to have peace? And, and, this, 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 and it, it struck me that if I were in a position of responsibility where, for people's lives, in most cases, I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't have any confidence that any of my decisions were good. That, 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 that these, these questions are too hard, probably for any human being, but certainly for me. Well, I think, I think coupling the not being sure that the decisions are right, so, so that, that's actually a really good thing, coupled with the fact that you do have to make a decision and carry the burden of that. And ultimately, I have faith in human beings, in the great leaders to arise uh, and help build a better world. I mean, that's the hope of democracy. The up, that's the, yeah, uh, Ben, let's hope that we can uh, en enhance their abilities with uh, uh, with algorithms. <laughs> uh, <all> <laughs> uh, well put, Don. <laughs> uh, it's such a huge honor. I've, you've been an inspiration to me and to millions for such a long time. Um, thank you uh, for spending your really valuable time with me once again. It's a huge honor. I really enjoyed this conversation.